First sip of coffee. Good morning. It's the morning cryptos. My name is Mark Shepard. This is the hypnosis of money, and it is day 20 for me of my hypnosis of money crypto challenge. And it is August 19th, 2017. It's a Saturday. It's 7:30 in the morning. Uh Bitcoin. Bitcoin is saying, well, maybe I didn't love you after all. No. Bitcoin is doing exactly what Bitcoin does. It moves and then it takes a breath. So we're in a retracement of Bitcoin. If you were thinking it was going to the moon and you were going to get left out, remember that's what we do. That is how we are wired, how the human mind is wired and why tulip mania happened. Why there are bubbles that burst, bull markets and bear markets. The human mind is what drives what we think has value. So just in case you bought at 42, <laughs> this morning it's now at 39.74 at the moment on this chart. And the bottom line is just to remember, Bitcoin is going to hit 5,000 at some point. So you have to be a little patient when you're in the markets, you know, seat of the pants like this. Um, and this is this is why... The crypto cranking programs are so appealing to the average person like myself, <laughs> the average not math genius person, uh, because we're impatient. And uh, impatient can be our biggest enemy. So we have to really learn to master our minds for a change so we can keep the change growing. And this is one piece of it. So uh, real quick, I'm going to try to get in and out in 10 minutes or less. <laughs> Good luck. The Bitcoin, let's look, at that's the one day chart, the one hour chart, it's down on the one hours, again, a good time to get in if you're awake on a Saturday morning, quite often the weekends are good times to pay attention. I took a lot of profits in Bitcoin on a Saturday while I was, while I was grilling. I happened to check the markets and saw that uh, Bitcoin had hit a new high and I had missed getting out earlier, so I, I took some profits and... Um, I'll show you that in a second real quick, but everything is on the one minute's down, on the 30 minutes it's down, on the one hour it's down. Good time to get in. And again, watch your thinking. If you're somewhat new to this and you're going, oh my God, oh my God, uh, I put all this money into Bitcoin three days ago. And, uh, what do I do now? Just wait. Be patient. Buy low, sell high. All right. I want to just show you where I... I took some profits here, if I can move this chart to that the day, if I can even recognize it amidst all these. It was back in July. Where was it? Jeez. So I think I missed this. I did not sell here at this big peak back in June. And then, yeah, it was here. It was this one. Wow, that wasn't so long ago. Was it? July 20th. Yeah, I think that was it. So it made its big move, and I saw it was it was up here, and so I sold, right? Because it was it was making a double top. And I was like, wow. I thought I'd missed the boat over here, but I didn't, right? And I waited a month, two months. It was about a month, a little over a month. And boom, I was able to get out of my position with a profit because I started buying down here, right? And I had a quick moment of when it was up here and then and then kind of took a, a step back. I was like, oh, I missed it. Oh, well. But I didn't beat myself up. That's the key. And that I in the past, I would have. In the past, I would have beat myself up. But I'm like, you know what? Why does it work out better than I could possibly imagine? And that's the question you need to ask because it triggers your unconscious mind to access your resources. And I don't... I don't want to get all heavy on the, the hypnosis stuff, but wherever you are in the market, 
if you chant, why does it work out better than I can possibly imagine? A lot of times you can you can get out of a position, like if you bought at the top here, it will go up again. This is just a step. Look at all the steps, okay? So I want to reassure you, and again, I don't know. It could, it could go back to 900 from here. We don't know. This is all new. That's why it's so exciting. And remember, people, we are hardwired neurologically for excitement. You know, it's like we're predators. We hunted. We were prey. We were hunted, right? So all that stuff is still in our limbic minds, our, our mammal brains, our lizard brains, mm. our coffee-fueled brains. So anyway, that's Bitcoin today. It's a good it's a good place to get in, but it may it may come back some more. You know, so uh, my gut, looking at how it's pulled back in the past, you know, it if it goes up and then pulls back half and then goes up again and pulls back half, it's making progress. Right? And if you look if you look at the bottoms, I mean this went up really steeply. You know, and people get used to it and they think that's the way it's always going to be, but it's always changing. And that's why this is such a great practice for real world living because the real world is always changing. All right? So that's my philosophy for the moment. And that's why I do this is because I like to flap my lips and think deeply about things. Ethereum. 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 I'm going to be quiet during these chart loading moments so I can edit them out. Mm. Okay. Any day now. All right. Ethereum. What do we got here? We got a sideways range. All right, we have a top. Ah, give me a little thing. There we go. We have a top right around 318. And we got a bottom. Right around 273. Sideways range. Good time to get in. Um, if, if you want Ethereum, get in. I just bought an Ethereum contract yesterday at Genesis Mining. So I hope it goes up. I think that would benefit me. I don't know. I'm still learning about all that mining stuff. And the complicated stuff I have a hard time figuring out. I don't know if it's because I'm dyslexic, uh, because I have ADD, or because I'm a, just an idiot. <laughs> but it's a blurting, a blurting. Okay, so Ethereum, sideways range. Again, a good time to get in at the bottom of a sideways range. It's really one of the safest entry points if you're going to think about how to get in. Um, and it's also a good place to get out if you got in here and you want to take some profits and you see it's going to do a sideways trade that might stay that way for a while. We don't know. Sideways sideways movements are can go on for a while. Um, here on the one hours, it's down, so it's a good time to get into Ethereum if you were to purchase some. Again, on the 30 minutes, it's down. Good time to get in. That's, for me, an entry signal. However, I'm not, you know, I've got a little bit of Ethereum. Um, I'm into some other programs that hopefully will get me a faster return because I want it faster, faster, faster. <laughs> I'm impatient. And uh, so Ethereum, it's down at the moment. Good time to get in if you want to get yourself some Ethereum. I, I think it's going to in the next month or two, give a run. Uh, it's going to try to break this top at 420. That's really the target. Uh, and then it might do a sideways range there before it breaks out. Okay. I think we will see thousand dollar Ethereum in our lifetimes, maybe by the end of the year. I don't know. That's just a prediction. You do what you want. Think what you want. I love this because we all have our own opinions and everybody's right. And uh, Dash, my beloved Dash. I managed to not sell Dash last night when I was trying to put together some money to put into a new crypto cranker. Managed to go, no, I'm going to wait on my Dash. Going to wait. Just going to wait. I'm going to hold my Dash. So I think Dash is going to Dash. I like the splash of Dash. Let's see. So, again, Dash, we have this tremendous support moving up from below. And it did break out. It went as high as uh, 264 a couple of days ago. Then it had a retracement. Oh, what a surprise. They do this, people. Remember, there's always another chance to get in. 
all right? And the timing doesn't always work in your favor, but sometimes if you wait long enough, you'll look back and go, oh, that actually was a good move, right? You know, when I started buying a um, Bitcoin at 900, you know, I thought I was late to the game and, you know, I would be lucky if it went to 1,000 and look at what's happened, right? And it could go back. It could go back to 900. We don't know. It probably won't because more and more people coming into the market, right? And that's the thing. Think there's a pretty good documentary about tulip mania and all of this stuff, all of these are little markets, right? And there is emotion, human emotion in groups, very predictable um, what we will do. Individuals, not predictable. Groups, predictable. All right, so Dash is a good time to get in on Dash if you missed its big move a couple of days ago. Uh, on the one hours, it's it's kind of down. It's down, but it's not out. Uh, 30 minutes, it's good time to get in on Dash. And the one minute's also a good time to get it on Dash, all right? And the, if you... If you're in um, if you're in Coinbase, the way to get Dash is to move one of your Litecoin, your Litecoins, your Ethereum, or your Bitcoin into your Exodus wallet, and then in the Exodus wallet you can do this exchange thing where you can you know do Bitcoin to Dash, uh, and they do have some other currencies as well. I'm only I'm only playing with, you know, four of them or so. So you can do that in your Exodus wallet, or you can just go to Shapeshift, I think. Shapeshifter, but it's built into the Exodus wallet. And I've been very happy with that wallet. So that's the deal, and it's free. How, how awesome is that? Okay, so that's Dash, and let me look at my little friend, Litecoin. I love Litecoin. Litecoin and I, well, we have this thing. Litecoin told me, you know, Mark, you're special. You're special, Mark, and I just want to be with you. I want to be in your pocket. <laughs> Litecoin. Anytime goldprice.org wants to load those charts is great. Okay, so look at Litecoin. we got a beautiful sideways range here, and it's... Again, look at the sweet, sweet. The bottoms are still getting higher. The bottoms here are still higher than they were there, right? It's in a sideways range. It has a target of 55. It's going to hit there at some point, but you got time. This is a market that's not in a hurry. It's not pumped up by testosterone, right? It's a market that is kind of a little bit quieter, a little tamer. A little bit more introverted <laughs> and uh, you can't argue with this chart it's just beautiful every single bottom is just a little bit higher and it is still got this upward you know these triple tops here Let's see if I can do this correctly you know it's got one two three four it's really a, a quadruple top and so you know where it's been, and you know where it wants, it's going to test, and it's working its way up to that. So I'm really liking Litecoin, and I still have some of it. I, I did swap some out, but uh, it looks like I could probably get back in in this trading range and not and not lose any. Uh, I think I got uh, 283 bucks of Litecoin. I did have 580 bucks worth of it. So. Um, and I closed out my Ethereum and just I moved everything into Bitcoin that I could last night uh, and then moved it into a new crypto cranking program, which I'll talk to you about in the next video. So uh, Litecoin looking good on a one hours. Good time to get in. 30 minutes. Great time to get in, actually. It's at the bottom of its trading range. And at the one minutes, it's starting to move up from the bottom of its trading range. Good time to get in. All right. So... That's it for the cryptos, the morning cryptos, and I will get this up on YouTube so you can watch it and maybe use it to inform your extremely well-informed, very grown-up decisions about what you're going to do with your money. And again, this is not to be construed as an investment advice. It's just a guy 
looking at patterns. That's what I do. I'm a pattern observer and interpreter. And this is what I've interpreted. You may interpret something different, but sometimes it's good to have another person talking so you can go, oh, okay, hadn't thought of that, or oh, hmm, that guy didn't see this, but I saw it, whatever. So I wish you all the best, and that's it for this video. If you like this, please subscribe, and there are links below the video if you want to do any crazy stuff, or if you want to just go to Coinbase, put in 100 bucks, they'll give you $10 a Bitcoin and me $10 a Bitcoin. Uh, I have some links to my cool, This I really like this Bitcoin to dollar calculator. The link is there. Uh, there's a cool compound daily thing. I have a link there, I think, below the video for that. Um, and then there's links to all these crazy crypto cranking programs, which I will talk about in the next video. So people, have a great day. Cue the music.